your favorite Kids Learning Tube t-shirt or song today at kidslearningtubeshop.com. And don't forget to subscribe. Kids Learning Tube! Tornadoes are rapidly rotating columns of air that form inside supercell storms with you this I will share. When they connect with the ground as a funnel of cloud, they are officially tornadoes of which I am very proud. Tornadoes begin with a powerful thunderstorm I tell. These thunderstorms are not normal, they are called supercells. Supercell thunderstorms reach up to 50,000 feet in height, bringing high force winds, giant hailstones, and great flowers. Flashes of lightning so bright. Supercells are great at causing tornadoes under specific conditions. I'll explain the recipe for a tornado. This is my mission. Rising air is the first ingredient needed to form a tornado. Let's take a look. I will explain how it develops in this show. Condensation releases heat. This heat becomes the energy that drives huge upward drafts of air that start the formation of me. The more condensation and the bigger storm clouds grow, the more power Powerful, those updrafts become. This is something you should know. In supercells, this rising air mass is really strong. You see, as air climbs, it can change direction and start to move more quickly. If there's a lot of moisture, a huge cloud base develops. It's bizarre, giving the tornado something to feed up if it gets that far. When all of these things are in place, a vortex develops. I assure it forms a wide, tall tube of spinning air that gets pulled upwards. This is called a mesocyclone, which is what you're seeing here but to become a tornado it has to touch the earth down there outside cool dry sinking air starts to wrap around the back of this mesocyclone forming a rear flank down draft from above this scenario creates a temperature difference between the air inside the mesocyclone and the air outside you see this builds a level of instability that allows tornadoes to thrive then the lower part becomes tighter increasing when speeds it drives this funnel air moves down into that large moist cloud base at the bottom of the storm. It sucks it in and turns it into a rotating cloud that is formed. This forms a link between the storm that created me and the earth. When that spinning cloud touches the earth, it becomes a tornado's birth. Tornadoes are rapidly rotating columns of air that form inside supercell storms with you this I will share. When they connect with the ground as a funnel of cloud, they are officially tornadoes of which I am very proud. Most tornadoes don't live long and only have some power. This produces winds between 65 and 110 miles per hour. Some others last over an hour and are much stronger than these produce a destructive 200 mile per hour wind. When tornadoes are that big and fast, they destroy everything in its path. Then people have to deal with their destructive aftermath. When the temperature difference we discussed does disappear to none. Or when the moisture in the air dries up, the storm loses momentum. And it pulls a tornado back inside, then it's done. Tornadoes are rapidly rotating columns of air that form inside supercell storms with you this I will share. When they connect with the ground as a funnel of cloud, they are officially tornadoes of which I am very proud. Kids learn it too.